I'm Bruce Rivera, artist and president of Salvage Arts. I started Salvage Arts as a way for artists to give back to the community by creating art out of repurposed materials. We want to offer the community access to free classes, workshops, and demos, as well as recycled art exhibits like our pop-up art show, All Decks on Hand, here at Graphite's Art Center in April. This show will feature a diverse collection of artwork on broken, repurposed skateboard decks. I am Aaron Bell, uh, owner of Slave to the Needle. It's basically just uh, creating artwork on repurposed old skateboards. Um, and to my understanding, it's just pretty, pretty open, whatever we want to do. So just uh, having fun recycling used materials and uh, breathing new life into them. Hi, my name is Jaco Alarca. I'm coming from South America, from Chile. And I'm doing a photo mio on my deck. He's one of the coolest badass guys. <laughs> I came here because of, like we are doing a guest on Slave to the Needle. So Bruce invited us and we are part of this amazing project. It's an honor for us actually. So. Hi, my name is Camila Gataldo. Uh, I came from South America, from Chile. And I'm working on this uh, specialty board. It's especially for me because this is Ko'omote. It's a mask from the No Theater from Japan and he symbol she symbolized the beauty of a young woman and we were working on Slave to the Needle as I guess artist. Bruce invited us uh, to do this special work for him and it's an honor to work with him you know to be a uh, to be part of this nice project. My name is Kiwi Matt originally from New Zealand and uh, tonight I'm working on a goldfish Japanese uh, design on the bottom of a skateboard deck and uh, yeah I'm involved in the project uh, just because it's a good cause and I used to be a skater for many years so it, uh, it seemed pretty cool to take something old that we you know would have discarded and do something new and exciting on it. I think like a, like a lot of tattooers uh, my initial interest in art stemmed from like board art in the 80s and 90s so it just seems sort of full circle to come back and now and paint sort of a tattoo inspired design on a skateboard deck. We hope you'll join us.